The FTC came out swinging at the air and nothing landed. It's that obvious. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Hercules, and we are back at it again. So, if you guys have not been keeping up with the FTC, Xbox, Sony versus Xbox, blah, 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 Call of Duty, Activision Blizzard deal, blah, 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 blah. It's the same BS as over. Well, I'm just going to run down some things that were kind of intriguing, but uh, maybe not that intriguing to other people, but let's go so yes the the ftc tried to come out swinging but at the same time they kind of looked them they look they look bad they they really look bad they look like some boomers out there that didn't know nothing about gaming but let's get into it xbox have pointed that sony has been cutting off games from them and that is true i believe sony has been buying uh at least exclusivity for certain games um because guess what xbox is also going out there but they're not buying exclusivity for these games for a year or for forever they're just buying so you they can put it on game pass day one we all know that it's just hilarious that these xbox community out there are ignoring that Xbox is doing the exact same thing. Now they're doing it a little bit different. Sony's not gonna buy it to put it on their PlayStation Plus because it, it just it wouldn't make sense to do something like that. I don't care what you think. It wouldn't make sense. So it to me, yes, Sony is doing that to Xbox, but Xbox is also doing it to Sony, but just in a different way. <sighs> no, because Xbox has been doing it also too. Over the years, Xbox has been paying off companies to put their games on Game Pass day one, and Sony has been uh, Sony has been slow, has been trying to slow that down, and has been buying exclusive one-year deal or making the games exclusive just to Sony. At the end of the day, both companies are doing the exact same shit just in a different manner again like i've been saying xbox has been going out there and buying these uh these game pass exclusivity they want that's what they've been doing you don't believe it there's articles out there proving that is what's going on and yes sony has been cutting off games for xbox that is 100 percent Look at the information about Starfield. When Starfield was supposedly being made, Sony, I guess, was gonna go and get the exclusive rights. Get the exclusive rights to Starfield. And Xbox overheard this, and instead, knowing that they couldn't compete by putting it just on Game Pass, they went out and basically bought the company and took it away from Sony, which is fine. You can do stuff like that. That is the beauty of competition, right? Another thing that was brought up in this uh, FTC versus Xbox, I believe that's how they're, they're technically calling it, was uh, Jim Ryan, the head of PlayStation, lied about Call of Duty being exclusive to Xbox would destroy Sony. Guess what? That was lies. And I told everyone, I told all the Sony ponies, I told all the Xbox that were making fun of Sony saying that, you see, you see Sony needs Call of Duty to survive. That was bullshit. That was just a card trick. That was like a musician showing you an illusion and you truly believing that was the illusion. They don't care. Do you really think Call of Duty going to Xbox would destroy Sony? It won't make Sony that much money, but it will destroy something else. It will destroy gaming. That's what it will definitely do, but that's for another topic. So 
this whole thing about Jim Bryan coming out saying all this stuff that Call of Duty this, Call of Duty that needs to stay multi-platform. They knew from the beginning that Xbox would never make it exclusive because they would lose so much money making it exclusive just to Xbox. But also, I still think it's laughable that this was the route that Jim Bryan and Sony were pushing so hard yet it's being proven that they really don't care they really don't find it a threat and it's laughable because everybody thought it was a threat i remember uh some xbox people out there saying some p people in the xbox community saying this is the silver bullet to sony it's not dude you it's just laughable that they truly believe that it was but I still think it looks bad for Sony and it looks bad for Jim Ryan because basically you lied. That, that's the truth. You lied. But we've seen somebody in the Xbox uh, head uh, leadership lie so much, but they get a pass every time from the Xbox community. Another thing that came out again, and I already talked about it, was that Sony was trying to buy the Starfield uh exclusivity rights now we don't know if it was just to make it exclusive to playstation or to make it exclusive to playstation for one year but some are praising phil because he i guess he overheard and asked microsoft sugar mama sugar daddy microsoft for seven billion dollars to buy the company instead because guess what because he if he didn't the xbox brand would be in shambles he said that and even there's proof out there the xbox console would be it would die off to be very honest having so many big games not come to your your console would destroy your console yes you can you can say it's not true but it will eventually it will destroy your console just like the call of duty right now it wouldn't do anything but let's go 20 years let's go 10 15 it will start to decline your stuff but it would decline it more for xbox because they don't have anything out there that you can say is a mega hit for them when it used to be halo then we can talk about it, but it's uh yeah we all know what happened with halo now so he got the okay from the sugar daddy microsoft to purchase bethesda for a broken redfall and a starfield locked at 30 frames per second i personally think sony dodge a bullet on this one i think sony dodged a bullet yeah you might not be able to get it but just look at every information coming out of starfield i truly don't see this game doing anything wonders um i think the graphics look terrible but hey i also play games that the graphics don't look that great so hey everybody has a opinion do I think 30 frames per second ruins games? No, because I play games that run at 30 frames per second. But this is the problem, you see. Xbox has been pushing this narrative that they have the most powerful system ever. Yet their games can never be can never run at 60 frames per second. The only things that can run at 60 frames per second are old games. But they're not games that xbox made they're just old games from third parties so it's very laughable but i mean what else do you expect from uh from xbox what else do you expect from the sony stuff from ftc you would think these companies would come out and knowing that hey this shit is gonna get revealed just like how sony uh numbers for uh, how much it costs to make the last of us 2 in horizon forbidden west or i think it was horizon zero dawn where it cost them like 200 million dollars to make which is we all knew that's how much it cost but this stuff is coming out because they were trying to 
redacted, you know, how they have to privately show this stuff to the people, but they were trying to redact it. And whoever the lawyer was for Sony, which again, another big L for Sony. Uh, but again, we all knew that. We all kind of knew the numbers anyways. Um, we just didn't have like a definitive number. Now we do. Uh, but they used this black ink that you can still see, which is just laughable. And uh, it, it's something that you never would think would come out. Um, with stuff like that, we I hope that whoever uses this ink is the same lawyer for the, the UFO cases, because I would love to see what the, the government's lying to us. And hopefully that guy goes to work over there and uses that same ink. So we can look at all these classified documents, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, share the video if you can, and I'll catch you guys next time.